All right, hey folks, everything new under the sun. This is another in the Midnight Solar Classic 150 series. Tonight what I'm going to try and do is real-time sign up for a cloud-based monitoring account. And uh, we're just going to see if that works. Now, I don't have a public IP. I may need DIN DNS um, to get it working. But I thought I would go ahead and try it um, and kind of record real-time um, and, and talk through it as, as I'm going. And just to show you guys the experience um, in terms of signing up for that uh, cloud-based monitoring uh, website that uh, Midnight provides themselves. So they provide a free service, obviously, cloud-based monitoring. Um, but you do need a, um, a static IP address, and you may need to do some router uh, port forwarding on your router to get it to uh, talk to it. So here is the, the local app. It is a nighttime right now. My battery is sitting at about 12.9 volts. And, uh, oh yes, input voltage lower than output voltage. Um, I don't have the Whizbang Junior, so I can't see how many amp hours I have, but it's just showing state of charge 100%. Um, but, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try and, and sign up, and we'll just see how this goes. So let's let's get to it. And uh, I, I'm doing this uh, real time. I've never done this before. Um, this is off the cuff. We're going to see if if this works and uh, see if we can get it going. So let's go ahead and go to software. So on the, we're on the Midnight Solar website. Cloud-based monitoring for uh, Midnight Classics. My Midnight is a free, secure service which allows monitoring your classics when you are away. From home, so a pretty cool thing. I'd love to put a status on my website, for example, of uh, of what's going on, so people could see day to day uh, with it. I think that would be pretty neat, interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Let's click my midnight. Opens a new browser, um, and we come up with this interface. So I haven't even signed up for an account yet, and we're just going to see how how this goes. I'll have to uh, blur out my password, of course. So let's try it. Let's do it my uh, channel name. Uh, let's see here. I think my uh, I think my general email address is on the website anyways. Please enter your unique device ID and MAC addresses. Okay. So the MAC address can be found by navigating on uh, the management interface to Net Advanced. Or from the local application. All right, we're going to read it real time. We'll see if we can find this from the local application. Let's go to info. Ah, oh, yes, there's the MAC address underneath the info tab. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that in. There we go. <clears throat> now the device ID can be found by navigating on the uh, management interface to advance as well or the local app. So let's go. And find that guy. Eight character number on oh, device ID. Okay, this is so. This is my device ID. So let's go ahead and paste this guy in here. Terms and conditions. Yes. Create account. So I assume this is going to ask for a password. But let's just see. Again, I'm just doing this real time, off the cuff. I've never done this before, so we'll see. See how this works out. And unfortunately, with my uh, internet provider, I don't have. A static IP or even the ability to uh, do any port forwarding so I'm not sure if this is going to work all right a welcome message has been sent to my email address so uh, let's go ahead I'm just going to pause um, this recording and uh, check my email because I don't want you to see everything all right so here is the email I got from Midnight Solar when I signed up it says thank you for registering you may now log in by clicking the link or copy and pasting to your browser. The link can only be used once to log in and will lead you to a page where you can set your password. So after resetting your password, you'll be able to log into blah, blah, blah. All right, so let's click on this. Click, opens the third tab. All right, this is a one-time login. It will expire, login. So here is uh, where I set my password. Passwords match, has uppercase, oh, add uppercase. Oh, no, it's, it's strong enough, good enough, good enough, good enough. And it didn't show it, so I don't have to cut that part out. 
personal contact information, uh, show unassigned warning. I'm just going to click save here. Yes, save the password in my browser, please. All right, I think we are done. Changes saved. So let's go to view. And is this actually going to work? I don't think this will work. I don't think it can talk to my, my device. But we're going to find out. I am connected to the local app, of course. Hey. Wow. I am absolutely incredibly amazed. I thought we would need some port forwarding for this. Wow. That was easy. Uh, wowzers. I was not expecting that, I'll be absolutely honest. Look at this. You can see all the... Uh, the wattage coming in very cool so I can actually see I, I was hitting 60 watts so I've got 200 watts worth of panels that is neat what's this one show here so I've got getting up near 100 watts I've uh, the panels are basically leaning on the side of my airstream um, there are shadows on them from trees um, they're not and it's winter time here so the sun's at not a good angle so I don't expect to get it a lot you can, it looks like uh, some small wattage happening here. It's resting. If you look in the um, uh, bottom left-hand side, you can see as I hover over uh, the bar graph, you can see 6 watts, 4 watts. It's just kind of mid-morning. And then it goes down to zero and clouds rolled over. And then it starts taking off. This is about, let's see, so this is about, oh, timeline 2, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And then at 3 o'clock, 3.30 in the afternoon, it starts picking up here at 4 o'clock. And then it starts going down at 5 o'clock and, and then uh, basically off at 7 o'clock there. Well, there was, a, there was a period there where we got 100, or sorry, 98 watts. That was March 24th. Just, uh, that's yesterday, so that's great. And look at the curve. So you expect to see a curve here. You see these big drops uh, in, in the bars. Uh, I assume that was significant shading or clouds rolled across there. I expect once the panels are, are um, in place on the top of the camper and they're not behind a big tree and it's summertime, I expect to be getting 100, 150. You don't normally obviously get you know 100% of, of the wattage rated uh, on the solar panel. Sometimes you do, sometimes you do. In, in super direct, you know, middle of the high summer um, sunlight, you may, maybe get that. But up in Canada, I certainly wouldn't uh, expect that all the time. So I'm quite happy if I'm getting you know a good 100 watts out of those two panels. I'd be t totally happy with that. And I really do expect to see a lot more than that um, come, uh, come summer. So I, I'm, just, I'm just amazed that that worked right off the bat. And you get these little warnings here as well. Well, give you... Well, I'm trying to click on these. So I guess you're supposed to know what these warnings are. Let's click on the little tool tab, edit system. Wow, you can so you can set the time region of it. Okay. My system. Classic 150. So it, it knows the name, of course. It collected all this information off the unit itself. Then you can delete the uh, the unit if you want. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna call this MIC Airstream. Let me I'll just copy the name of the uh, charge controller itself. MIC Mic Air Stream. I didn't have. You can only do. Uh, let's see. What is it? Eight characters on uh, the unit itself. I won't set the time zone. Let's go ahead and apply that. I don't know. I, I'm. I'm just. I'm wowed that that was actually so easy to actually set up. Well done, Midnight Solar, for that. And this is a free service as well. Absolutely incredible. It's very basic. Like uh, I don't see a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, let me see. Okay, I, so I can I, I can add another charge controller, uh, and that would show up as another tab. Now this didn't uh, didn't change. Why didn't it save that? Descriptive make air stream apply changes. It should. I'm not sure why it doesn't save the tab. Maybe I need to change the name of the tab in some other fashion. So technically, uh, what I can do is, uh, if I'm away uh, from the house or, or the trailer is stored somewhere, um, I can take this URL that showed up in the email. Uh, let's see if I can pull up the email uh, again here. 
uh, where are we here? Pull up the email. So after sending your password, you will be able to log in uh, at https mymidnight2.com forward slash question mark q equals user and then you can use the username and password that I set so that is very cool that literally took me what did it take me five minutes to set up let's take a look at this oh cool okay so you can set a whole bunch more statistics PV volts oh wow now this is fun very cool alright so let's uh, so device okay chart controls so you can select all that let me uh, device that's my 150 icons key okay so this tells you the various uh, items here so passwords enabled on my charge controller and and the voltage this uh, symbol means the voltage is uh, less coming in and I get lots of partial shading so I expect to see that a lot so of course you can hear here you can export uh, the daily logs and the hourly logs let's just try uh, that for interests sake and uh, I'll show you uh, that information here let's see open with text edit there you go there's the export for the hourly of course that doesn't have anything because uh, right now there's no power coming in I guess that's expected very cool though alright let's let's get rid of that let's look at this chat a uh, chart so now you can see all the line items you can see uh, the daily uh, surge the the curve there of the surge and solar power from the morning spiking up and going through the day and then uh, decreasing very neat so obviously what you want is a nice gradual curve you don't want spikes and jaggy edges like this this was all full of um, you know partial shading and clouds and whatever else is going on now I got far too much on here uh, but uh, you can add a lot you can add the FET temperature the photovoltaic amps the battery temperature the whiz bang junior uh, etc battery voltage let's get rid of all this stuff state of charge PV volts um, show legend yeah we'll show legend turn off the power so let's see battery volts now I'm not uh, pulling my battery voltage down too low so you can see the battery voltage really hovers around 12 I don't know what it hovers at 12 point uh, okay so yeah if you look on the left hand side 12.6 in the morning um, overnight it, it has to power the um, the Wi-Fi bridge um, and so it goes down to 12.6 12.5 does it get lower than that no 12.5 12.7 and then 12.6 and then the day the sun comes out and you can see bottom left hand corner you can see it go to 12.9 as the uh, photovoltaic volts uh, uh, increases you can see a, a hit there of PV volts 38 volts there and the battery voltage is at, uh, is at 13.6 and then we're at 14.1 and uh, we're starting to float and rest and uh, then we're going back down as it starts consuming energy when the sun's not there so that is pretty cool and you can see on the bottom timeline you can see the spike in voltage each day really in the middle of the day as the as the voltage spikes on your battery that that is that is very very cool um, I, I'm I am absolutely impressed with this free cloud service it does what it does and that was an absolutely uh, absolutely simple thing to configure so wow I guess we can zoom in and zoom out on our chart there There we go. So you can get multiple days, I guess, in there if you want. Let me go back here. Ah, okay. So you can see several days, and you can compare all the days together and see where you where you made a lot of power and where you didn't. So as this continues to log, and uh, it will continue to log, <clears throat> you'll be able to get yearly charts, I guess. Um, so that is pretty cool. All right. Well, I'll leave it there, guys. Um, that was that was a lot. That went a lot better than I thought it would. Um, so there's a review. A look at the uh, my midnight the free cloud-based monitoring from midnight solar um, connected to my classic 150 that is absolutely two thumbs up uh, in terms of 
a free cloud service for Midnight Solar. So incredible. I am I'm super, super impressed. I don't know if you can tell, but that is very cool. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll leave it there, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode of the series. And I think I'm going to um, check out the Chatty Cathy uh, voice alerts on it next. I just need to get those going, and uh, hopefully I'll do a video about uh, the various uh, voice options on the Classic 150. We'll see you guys in the next video.